Suplifters. I am just built different. I'm a, I'm an absolute unit. The title, of course, is a joke. Just because, as I said, I got my second dose of the Wii World. However, uh, a lot of my friends actually felt bad. They've been sick for days, and I just felt nothing. I didn't. Even, I don't even feel any kind of pain in my left shoulder. In fact, I just benched. I did my overhead presses. I did my loo raises, and I had no problems at all. So, of course, the title is just a joke. So uh, today we finally raised our weight with the bench press and it was underwhelming, I'm not going to lie. I really hoped that I could have gotten like a 5-5-5-5, five, 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 five. however in the last set you will see that I hit 4. So what I did was adding another set with 65 kilograms just to make up for the loss of tonnage. There will be a video on tonnage very shortly so you'll understand better what I mean with this term. Uh, also, I noticed that the most traumatic thing ever is doing the first series with a new weight. It feels all so shaky and hard, however from the second set on it actually felt a lot better. I actually believe that my third was one of the best sets in which I controlled the weight the most. Um, the first one, however, was a mess. I felt like I was so unbalanced, I felt like my arms were moving all over the place. Anyway, you saw that this one last rep was kind of a, it was kind of a grinder, you know. I, maybe I could have gotten the fifth one, however I wanted to be a bit more sure and just avoiding to do a roll of shame for no reason. Um, especially because you never know if stuff could go wrong. If we can avoid it, we're gonna avoid it. Also another thing is that I was kind of trying to push too much with my hips and sometimes I feel like my butt came off the bench, not in this series, in the previous series, the one with the heavier weight. So I kind of need to be careful because right now I've learned how to use it, however I should be actually careful not to abuse it because uh, if I end up cheating, quote unquote, too much weight, it's going to be quite annoying. So uh, my overhead press today went decently. Um, I actually found another really interesting thing that helps me a lot, which is basically in the bottom position, I basically think of driving my elbow as forward as I can in order to put them under my uh, hand. Uh, that way I can stack my joints better and probably produce more force or in general have a straighter line and a straighter trajectory overall. Because as I already said in a previous video, the closer you are to your center of, let's say, gravity or mass, uh, the stronger you are, meaning that if I push right over my head, I'm way stronger than if I were to push diagonally forward. And you can see that from this side it was a little bit weirder. The first rep was a mess. I, I remember that I, I thought, oh geez, this was so bad. However, the other one you can see that went a lot more smoothly. I also think that I did more reps than the last time, which is good, of course. However, over the press is really a really, really slow exercise to progress in. But it's fine, because as usual, uh, it's okay that also I, well, I must also remember that I can't really compare the overhead press uh, progression with the bench press one, because the bench press is always the opener. So being the opener, I'm always fresher, I, am, I have more fire in me, I want to fight more, Let's and go. so on. Come on. Speaking of which, uh, I also tried to hype myself up uh, for the last one. I'm going to lower the audio. However, you saw that I really grinded it out, but I couldn't really get it up. So I was quite disappointed with that. I then did dips, which went very well for the first two series, and then it dropped off a lot. So again, it's okay. I had a very weird sensation with my right wrist, so I stopped the series and then I restarted. And that is, I think that kind of brought me out of my mental game, and I felt like I didn't really feel like doing it anymore. So I kind of half-assed it, which is pretty pathetic. But you know, it is what it is. I gotta be honest with myself. I then did my loo raises and man do I love this exercise, it feels amazing. I feel like it's really gonna improve my shoulder mobility, especially for the left one and hopefully in a couple of months uh, you will see a decent back squat from me. However, I really don't want to talk more about squats because I'm doing so much research, I'm watching so much stuff, I'm looking for as many ideas as I can in order to improve my mobility and get in a better squat position. But again, I, I don't want to talk about it today, <laughs> although I'm very passionate about it. So really, check them out. The low raises are really, really interesting, they're amazing, and maybe uh, they're actually better to be done with a plate instead of uh, with a dumbbell. However, I feel like that in order to progress, uh, I will need to use a dumbbell, because 
the jump from 5 to 10 kilograms is not. I'm literally doubling the weight. So I really think that I'm gonna have to use the dumbbells. However, I also think that using the plates is better for the mobility. Because, yeah, I, I agree that with the dumbbell you can still keep the open... The open uh, palm, let's say with the palm facing outward. However, I also feel like that with the plate, um, there is something different in the exercise. I can't really explain it, but the feeling is very different from one to the other. So I will think about it and I will see how to progress on it. How, what I'm sure of, however, is that it will be a staple. And what I really appreciate about bodybuilding in general is that it's so nice that we can just pick and choose all of this stuff that other people in other sports do that works for them and we just make it our own for our own purposes and it's something super fascinating to me for instance using pull-ups instead of the lat machine because the pull-ups are just simply superior however pull-ups are a calisthenic movement and we basically just pick and choose whatever we need and we implement it and to me it's so amazing Today I did my forearms again, however as you saw I started with the curls and then I went into the squeezes. These are what I call squeezes. I think an H calls them finger curls, however I call them squeezes, I think I will keep calling them like that. I have no idea though. And I performed decently. Uh, I actually felt like my range of motion was better in the curls since it was one of the things that concerned me the most. And I also decided to do a giant set of three exercises and do here my rear delts. Since I felt like my triceps were kind of tired today, so it really didn't make any sense to do the tricep push down. So I preferred just doing my school crusher. Which is also kind of strange because my performance on the school crusher was okay. Like it was actually quite good because I raised the weight to 15 kilograms. But I still felt like I was extremely tired. I don't know if it makes sense. I performed well, but I felt like I was super done. Anyway, bench press 75, 5, 5, 5, 4, and then 8 with 65 just to make up for the loss of tonnage. Overhead press went okay, 12, 11, 10, 9, pretty regular. From here we should keep on moving and going, like improving slowly and surely. Dips, 12, 11, and then as I said, I kind of got out of it and I wasn't too focused, 8, 7, so it was pretty bad. Lou raises, 12, 12, 11, 11, that's perfect. Skull Crushers 12, 12, 12, 11, and I raised the weight, so it's actually a really promising uh, uh, result. Although I also do have to say that I didn't do the tricep pushdowns beforehand, so maybe I was fresh because of that. Forearm curls, uh, it's kind of a mess. However, I did 13, 13, so both curls and squeeze for two times. Then I did 15, 13. Again, 15 for the curl, 13 for the squeeze, and then I did 17 for the curls and 8 for the squeeze. I have no idea why did I push so hard in the last one, but I did. And then the rear delts, it's always the same, as you know. That is it for today's session. See you guys tomorrow.